This is Joe Farr against the clock for Fact TV. Okay, so I've got some samples loaded. Uh, kick drum. Got a acid squelch. A tom. A little sample off a drum machine. Hi hat and another old drum machine sample. So I'm going to start with the first small sample. And then I'm going to play around with the sample endpoint because that's fun. So we're going to loop it first of all and then change the endpoint. And then I'm going to modulate that with an LFO. Just to make some weird little rhythm. And move on to the kick drum. That's the beauty of an LFO. <laughs> and then I'm going to put on the other old drum machine sample. And then what I want to do is the rhythm is going into the octa track, so the channel that this goes into, I want to assign a filter to it. So you just hit the scene button and then change any parameter you want to assign it. And I'm going to put a short delay on it as well. So when I bring the crossfader across, it'll affect it. So I'm fairly happy with all that. I'm going to record through the desk. So this desk's uh, got 16 Firewire out. So I'm going to send that separately and that separately and the compressor separately to three channels. Then I'm going to send the master channel to the fourth channel. So let's make it into a track. Get the right filter. Take that and that off. Press record, off we go.
kind of chord sample. off-putting, isn't it? The second one by an octave. spend a fair bit more time on the sequencer. I can usually come up with an idea in 10 minutes. It's just the pressure of uh, pressure of the 10 minutes and you guys with the cameras just adds to it, you know, whereas if I was at home on my own, you know, just get through ideas quickly. I'll come up with an idea as I'm like, falling asleep and like, run into the studio and write it down or sing it into a microphone or whatever. Or I can just be jamming and something will jump out at me and then I'll realize at that point that that can be a track or I'm sat in an airport and I've got my recorder with me and I'm just, you know, recording the atmosphere and then I can just edit that and then 
you know, it's techno, so you find a four bar loop out of that and you're away. So I can't stand just staring at a computer all the time. I could just use these all the time, but I find that bringing in sounds from the outside world, you know, found sounds, just makes, a, makes for a difference of texture and makes it a bit deeper, I think.